So we're going to start by looking at multiplying integers. What an integer is, is a whole number. It's just that it could have a positive or a negative sign. So we're going to be looking for example number 1, negative 35 times 33. Find each product. So basically just multiply. Now there is a traditional way, but I'm going to show you guys another method. I'm going to do a, a two by two box. And the reason why I'm doing a two by two is because each of my numbers has two digits. If one of my numbers had a three digits, then I'll make one side with three boxes. It doesn't matter which number you put on top and which one you put at the side. So I'm going to put a 35 on the top and 33 at the side. So notice how I wrote my numbers. I'm multiplying them. I'm ignoring the signs for right now. I'm just going to multiply 35 times 33. Now, each of my boxes, let me cut it in half. Each of my squares, I'm going to cut it in half. Uh, I'm going to cut those boxes in half and there. So once again, each of my squares were cut in half. Now, for each of my squares, I'm going to multiply the number on the top times the number at the side. So for example, my first square, let me go 3 times 3. I know 3 times 3 is 9. I'm going to write this using two digits. Once again, I multiply the number on the top times the number at the side. Then I see 5 times 3, that's 15. So let me go 15. Now looking at the bottom, I'm going to go 3 times 3, that's 9. And 5 times 3, that's 15. Remember, it was always the number on the top times the number at the side. Now you see my columns are diagonal. Let me add the first row. What I mean with the first row, it's this one. My number is just five. Let me add the second row. My second row is this one. Let me add my digits, five plus one plus nine, that's 15. So I'm gonna write the five and then the 10 there. So 15. Now the next row, let me add one plus one plus nine. I'm ignoring the zeros. 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. So I'm going to carry the, let me write down the 1. Let me carry the 10. And the last row, I just have a 1. So those digits, that's my answer. 1, 1, 5, 5. That's my answer. Now, let's take care of the sign. When my numbers have the same sign, so two positives or two negatives, my answer will be positive. When my signs are different, which is my case, I have a negative and a positive, then my answer will be negative. Now, we were told before that each three numbers, we put a little comma to separate the thousands. So I have negative 1,155. That will be my answer. Now, if you don't write the comma, my homework, if you just type it in without the comma, that will be okay as well. So the little comma, I'm gonna leave it optional. So negative 1,155. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna do a two by two box. Once again, I'm looking at 18 times 10, and by two digits times two digits. It doesn't matter which one of the two numbers I put on the top, I'm gonna put the 18 on top and then the 10 at the side. Now let me break each of my squares in half. For my first square, I'm, I'm looking at one times one, which is one. Remember, I always multiply the number on the top times the number at the side. Then I have eight times one. Eight times one is eight. So I'm gonna write that as zero, eight. Now at the bottom, I have one times zero. Well, that's zero. Eight times zero, that's zero. So my first row gives me just a zero. The second column, right, eight plus zero plus zero, right, just an eight. My next row, I just have a one. So in my last zero, I'm just gonna ignore it. So I'm gonna have one, eight, zero, 108. The signs are different, so negative, negative 180. Now let's take a look at one last example. Let me do two by two. 
And once again, it doesn't matter which of the two numbers we put on top. I might not put the 26 on top. Just to show you guys, I've been putting the first number on top, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put the 26 on top. Let me cut each of my boxes in half. All right, my first one, it says 2 times 1. I know 2 times 1 is 2. 6 times 1 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. And 6 times 2 is 12. My first row gives me a 2. My second row, let me add my number. 6 plus 1 plus 4, that's 11. 1 plus 2 is 3. So my answer is 312. Because my numbers have different signs, I'm going to put a negative there. Negative 312. Some of your cases, you might have three, that's three digits. As an example, let's say I had 315 times 23. In that case, I will do a three by two box. There's my 23 and there's my 315. And then you will do it the way we've been doing it. And you'll be okay.